Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna take a closer look at the new next generation dash cam sensor, the Sony Starvis 2 sensor. Now, Sony Starvis sensors are very popular and they're used in many different dash cams thanks to their good video quality and their really good low light performance. Now, Sony is releasing their next generation Starvis sensor called the Starvis 2 sensor. And thanks to this new sensor, uh, we're gonna start to see some improvements to both low light sensitivity and dynamic range. Now, the first dash cam to utilize this new sensor is the VFO A139 Pro. And this dash cam is available now. I'll put a link in the video description to where you can pick one up. Uh, though the sensor is also gonna be used in many different dash cams from many different manufacturers. Now for my full review of the A139 Pro, make sure you subscribe so you can get notified for when that video comes out. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and use that dash cam to illustrate some of the cool new uh, benefits and improvements here with this new sensor. Now, not every feature that the Starvis 2 sensor is capable of has been fully implemented yet, by the A139 Pro, particularly some of the HDR capabilities, uh, but nevertheless, this is gonna give us a really good idea as far as what we can expect uh, with this new generation of sensors. And so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the capabilities here introduced with the new Starvis 2 sensor, uh, the improvements that we're gonna see compared to previous generation dash cams, and some of the trade-offs that we need to be aware of. And this is gonna give us a good idea as far as what we can expect regarding the improvements here uh, with not only the A139 Pro, uh, but also the new dash cams that are gonna be coming out from many different manufacturers that should be released later on this year. All right, so jumping right into things, with this new Sony Starvis 2 sensor, we've got four new improvements compared to previous generation sensors. Number one, Sony says that it offers improved low light sensitivity, which is gonna be especially helpful uh, when you're driving around at night. Number two, we've got improvements to not only visible light, but also to recording infrared light. Number three, we've got some improvements to dynamic range with the new HDR capabilities. Uh, and number four, we've also got an elimination uh, of the ghosting issue, kind of this weird double exposure issue that we were seeing uh, with previous generation implementations of HDR. Now, for my testing here in this video, I'm gonna use three different dash cams. First, I've got the VFO A139 Pro, which is a 4K dash cam that uses this new Sony Starvis 2 sensor. Second, we've got the regular VFO A139, uh, this is a 2.5K dash cam that uses the original Starvis sensor. We'll call it the Starvis 1. Uh, and then third, we've got the VFO A129 Pro. Uh, this is also a 4K dash cam, but it uses an even older Sony Exmor sensor. It's not a Starvis sensor. And so starting off here, let's begin by taking a look at the improved low light sensitivity here with the new Sony Starvis 2 sensor. Now this improvement is definitely welcome because recording at night is very hard for a dash cam with such limited light. Uh, trying to freeze action especially uh, when there's not much light is very difficult for any sensor. And Sony actually shows us the improvement here uh, with the demo of trying to record in a parking lot at night. With conventional technology, they show that the video footage is really dark and it's hard to make out details. Uh, but with the new Starvis 2 sensor, it does a much better job of actually recording what's going on here in the garage. Now, something to point out is they did rate it compared to conventional technology, not Starvis 1. Uh, but nevertheless, I wanted to go ahead and recreate this test. Now, when I duplicated this test, I actually saw a slightly different benefit. What I found is that all the dash cams did a good job of kind of recording what was going on around me. Uh, but the new Starvis 2 dash cam did a better job of freezing motion in the dark parking garage. And without the motion blur, it made it much easier to capture my face. And this is also gonna be important if you're trying to capture details of cars driving by. By having a more sensitive sensor, it's gonna allow you to rely on faster shutter speeds to better freeze frame action. Now that said, with dash cams, usually we don't have much control over shutter speed. Pretty much everything is gonna be running in automatic for us. And I have noticed in some of my initial testing that even with the newer Starvis 2 sensor, a little bit of shade can make it harder for the dash cam to freeze frame motion and capture important details. And so even with the A139 Pro, I'm still running into situations where uh, the dash cam is gonna struggle to freeze frame motion, but nevertheless, with the Sony Starvis 2 sensor, uh, that should help them actually start uh, cranking up the shutter speeds uh, to better freeze frame action. And so I'm not expecting this new sensor to kind of magically eliminate this issue, but it does look like a welcome improvement nonetheless. Now, another improvement that I'm seeing here uh, with this added sensitivity is getting less noise at night. Now, it might be a little bit hard to see after YouTube compression, and especially if you're watching on a smaller phone screen, uh, but I'm finding that video produced by the Starvis 2 sensor is much cleaner. There's less noise in the video, and it's easier to make out detail compared to the Starvis 1 and non-Starvis dash cams. And this is one of the benefits that I noticed actually displayed on VFO's website, essentially reduced noise uh, at night. Now, the next improvement that Sony advertises is improved sensitivity to infrared light. 
And to demo this, Sony's got a quick clip showing how older sensors actually struggle to record scenes lit by IR, uh, whereas the new sensor does a much better job of capturing the details. Now, this isn't something that would be super important to us for our dash cams for our front and rear dash cams, but for the interior dash cams, it could be helpful. A lot of interior facing dash cams actually have special infrared LEDs to help light up the inside of the cabin so that the dash cams can record at night. Now the VFO A139 Pro, uh, it only uses the Sony Starvis 2 for the front dash cam. If you get it with the optional interior facing dash cam, uh, that uses a traditional Sony Starvis sensor, the IMX291. Now dash cams utilizing current technology are already doing a pretty good job of recording what's going on inside the car thanks to the infrared LEDs. Now, while it could be wrong, I wouldn't expect to see a transition to Starvis 2 for interior dash cams to really provide us with a huge dramatic improvement. Now, one of the areas where I am expecting to see one of the biggest improvements here with this new sensor uh, is the improvements to HDR or the high dynamic range, giving you a better ability uh, to see details both in the bright highlights and in the dark shadows. Now, Sony's first example of this is uh, recording two people standing in front of a bright window. And with conventional technology, it's hard to see the people uh, in the shadows, while with the new sensor and its improved dynamic range, it does a much better job of recording people in the shadows. Now, Sony also gives a second example that's more dash cam specific uh, of capturing some important detail in the bright highlights. With older tech, it's hard to make out the detail of the car uh, entering the tunnel, uh, while with the new sensor and the improved dynamic range capabilities, it's much easier to see the car outside uh, in the bright highlight area. Now, I went out to go replicate this test, uh, kind of driving out of a dark parking garage, and I definitely found that the uh, Sony Starvis dash cams with HDR do a much better job of capturing detail in the highlights uh, compared to the non-Starvis dash cam that uses WDR instead of HDR. Interestingly, I also noticed that the Starvis 1 and Starvis 2 dash cams actually looked pretty similar here. And overall, whether you're using the Starvis 1 or 2 dash cam, uh, the HDR feature does help the dash cam do a better job of capturing detail uh, in bright headlights, like when your headlights, for example, are shining directly onto a reflective license plate in front of you. That said, again, there's definitely still situations where you can't capture license plates, and a good example of that uh, is when there's motion, like the car driving past me uh, on the right. And so, yes, every dash cam, of course, is still going to have its limits uh, given the right conditions. HDR can help, but it's not going to fully eliminate this issue in all situations. So again, just to have realistic expectations here. And as more dash cams start to get released that have this new Sony Starvis 2 sensor with HDR, I'm really curious to see about the improvements uh, with Starvis 2, specifically over uh, Starvis 1. Now that said, here with the A139 Pro that I'm testing, uh, not all of the features, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, when it comes to HDR have been fully implemented here uh, in this dash cam. And this is particularly true uh, for the last new improvement here with this new sensor uh, to resolve the ghosting issues. You see the way HDR traditionally works is it's combining two different exposures. It's got one exposure focused on capturing all the detail in the bright highlights and a second exposure uh, that's kind of exposing for the dark shadows. And then it combines the two exposures into one to give you higher dynamic range. Now, the issue with this is usually those two exposures are taken at slightly different times, right? It's taken the bright exposure, then the dark exposure. But because uh, you're driving and you're moving and other cars around you are moving, you can get this weird ghosting effect when it's trying to overlay and combine uh, the these two separate exposures. With the new Sony Starvis 2 sensor, however, there's a new implementation of HDR uh, that helps resolve this ghosting issue. And in Sony's video, they again illustrate this with the example of the two people standing in front of a bright window. And when you're recording with the traditional style of HDR, you're going to see this weird artifacting uh, at the edges. This type of HDR, Sony refers to as Digital Overlap HDR, or DOL HDR. With the Starvis 2 sensor, on the other hand, uh, you're no longer going to have this weird ghosting at the edges because of the fact that the bright and dark exposures are taken simultaneously. And Sony refers to this style of HDR as clear HDR. Now, this style of HDR hasn't yet been fully implemented by the A139 Pro, but I am seeing some improvements here nonetheless. For example, with HDR enabled, I'm now seeing some situations where I no longer see that double exposure effect, uh, particularly when driving in the daytime. It looks a lot more like a single exposure, similar to the WDR technique. Now, in other situations, particularly at night, I'm definitely still seeing the ghosting effect still. And you can see it, for example, here uh, in the rear plate of this red Tesla in front of me. Now, freeze framing a license plate at night when there's motion is really tough, but even without the clear HDR being implemented, I'm still finding the Starvis 2 sensor to be doing a better job uh, than the other dash cams. And so again, to have realistic expectations, uh, we've got some nice improvements here with this new sensor, but it doesn't look like it fully eliminates the issues uh, that we've been seeing with previous generation dash cams. 
Now, I wanted to learn a little bit more about this clear HDR technology, and I've been talking to VFO about it specifically because, well, they've actively been working on it. And they said that they've done a lot of work to optimize the exposure time with the A139 Pro, uh, especially in the daytime. And they also mentioned that this clear HDR technology seems to work better in the daytime uh, than at night, which I guess would also explain why Sony and their examples were demoing the feature being used in the daytime too. Now, when it comes to implementing clear HDR, VFO says that there's two issues that they're currently working on. The first one has to do with uh, shutter speed. You see, let's say you wanna crank up the shutter speed to better freeze frame action and stop motion, right? Well, if you do that, you can run into some issues with the dash cam not being able to properly record certain light sources, such as traffic lights. And they're saying that if you crank up the shutter speed too fast, well, the traffic lights can start to flicker and you're not gonna be able to properly record them. And you're really gonna want a dash cam to record the traffic lights. Let's say somebody in front of you uh, runs a red light and your traffic light was green, you definitely want your dash cam to be able to reliably record that. Now with the older style of HDR, DOL HDR, you've got the two exposures, a short one and a longer one, and that longer exposure is the one that's going to be capturing the traffic light. On the other hand, when you're using clear HDR, you've got two short exposures simultaneously, which is going to make it much harder for the dash cam to actually capture that traffic light. And then the second issue that VFO mentioned uh, when they're experimenting with clear HDR is that they're seeing uh, increased noise with the feature enabled, which definitely starts to cause some issues when you're trying to capture uh, details at night. And so currently there's still a lot of development that's being done here uh, with manufacturers actually building and designing dash cams that use uh, these new Sony Starvis 2 sensors. And so moving forward, while I'm not expecting the next generation of dash cams to fully resolve all the issues that we're seeing with kind of current dash cams, it definitely looks like a nice evolution for us, a nice step forward nonetheless. It's gonna be producing uh, dash cam videos with better video quality, with better low light performance, and with improved dynamic range. And if you'd like more technical information, including things like how the photo diodes have been redesigned, you can check out Sony's website. Uh, if you'd like a dash cam that uses a new Sony Starvis 2 sensor, you can go ahead and pick up the VFO A139 Pro. Uh, I'll link to that down in the video description too. And then of course you can stay tuned for my upcoming review uh, of the A139 Pro, as well as uh, some of the other new dash cams that are gonna be coming out later this year. And so with that said, yeah, that's a look here at the new Sony Starvis 2 sensor and a lot of the improvements that we should expect here uh, moving forward with dash cams that use these new sensors. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're all doing great and I'll see you in the next video.